Hello students, I am Vincent Fernandez, your math teacher from Sri Sarvagna Public School. In the last class, we have discussed about a solution of a linear equation in one variable as well as their applications. Now, we shall consider in this class, what if the equation contains a variable, the same variable, on both the sides. So let us solve two problems of that nature. So in this first example, it is given that 4z plus 3 is equal to 6 plus 2z. So let us start by transposing the quantities which have got the variable from one side to the other and those quantities which do not have the variable from one side to the other. So let us do that. So 4z is already having a variable z. From this side, bring this 2z from the right side to the left side. As it is having a positive sign, it will become a negative sign. So minus 2z. Now this is equal to 6 is already present over that side. So write it as it is. This plus 3, I want to send it to the other side in one single step. So, plus 3 becomes minus 3. This is by transposing. So, once we did this, now solve it. So, 4z minus 2z is 2z. This is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. Correct. Now, still we are short of the answer. Here I want only z to be found out. So take this 2 to the other side. By transposing we get z is equal to 3 divided by 2. As 2 is multiplied here, when it is sent to the other side it becomes divided. So this is uh, by transposing again. So we have the answer. The final answer is z is equal to 3 by 2. In the second example, we have two sides. In the left side, we have 2x by 3 plus 1. On the right side, we have 7x by 15 plus 3. Same way as we did in the earlier case, we will send all the terms having the variable to the other side. So here, 2x by 3 already has a variable x in it. So send this 7x by 15, which is a positive term, to the other side, it becomes minus 7x by 15, okay, is equal to, here 3 is already present, so write it as it is, take this plus 1 to the other side, it becomes minus 1 by transposing. So once we have done this much, now start solving it. So here there are two different denominators, 3 and 15. The LCM of 3 and 15 is 15. So finding the LCM, we will say that 15 is the LCM. 3, 5 times is 15. So 5 in my hand, so that 5 I have to multiply to the numerator, which is 2x. 5 into 2x is 10x. Minus 15, 1 time is 15. So 15, oh, that 1 is in my hands. That 1 is to be multiplied to the numerator 7x. We get 1 into 7x is 7x. This is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, simplifying this, it is going to become 10x minus 7x is 3x. 3x by 15. So, if it is possible, you can cancel it here itself. Is equal to 2, right? So, 3 1s, 3 5s. So, I can cancel it in this way. We are going to get the x by 5. So, if I am going to transpose this to the other side, therefore, x is equal to 2 multiplied by 5. This is by transposing again, correct? Right? So, we have, therefore, x is equal to 10. So, this is how we solve equations which have the same variable on both the sides. Thank you and have a nice day, children. Bye-bye.